Standing over her, he picked up a bottle of red wine and stretched his arm out high over her head, ready to pour. He waited patiently as she regained consciousness. The drugs were wearing off. She woke to the heat of spotlights burning her skin, their harsh light piercing her eyelids. Why is it so hot? She tried to move away from the source, but her heavy limbs barely moved. What's happening? Her mouth was parched, her throat locked tight. A searing pain ran through her jaw as she tried to swallow. What the fuck? She rocked her head backwards and forwards, groaning with the waves of pain, trying to clear her mind. Where was she? Memories began to tumble back into place. Fuck. Where was he? She knew he was somewhere near. She could smell his expensive cologne. Could hear his agitated breathing. He was aroused. She squinted through the light, her darting eyes anxiously trying to find him. On a bedside table, a few feet from her head, something glistened. She strained towards it, pulling the glint into focus. Her heart stopped. A neat row of surgical instruments lay on a silver tray. His tools of torture set out in an orderly fashion, soldiers ready for duty. Their polished blades shimmering in the light. Jesus, David, what are you doing? Her rasping whisper, barely audible, tearing at her throat. Her mind raced. The realisation of what he had in store pumped sobering adrenaline through her body. Fuck, how could she have been so stupid? With all that had been going on, she should have known it was a trap. She'd seen his work. She knew what he did to his victims. He didn't love her. He hated her. It was a lie. 